All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to PTI. I'm your host, the Commish. Thrilled to be here with my colleague, Coach Knopp. Let's go. All right, topic one, new talent at Sport Life. There is a lot. Coach Knopp, who has impressed you the most this week? I gotta go with Massimo. He's playing for Coach Feldy right now. Kid picks up boards because it's his day job. You can't get it past him. You cannot get it past him. And he dominated money in the bank. I mean, Dan Levitsky's a great player, but he's, he looked like garbage compared to Massimo. I mean, it was 5-0. I mean, it was, it was a complete uh, whitewash. Some even say embarrassing for Dan It was embarrassing, yeah. it was. But then again, he is Dan Levitsky. He is known to choke from time to time. That's what he did. Also, definitely the worst brother. j Dog, <laughs> number one in my heart. Yes, absolutely. Um, I have to say, there's some rookies that really impressed me this week. Uh, JJ Bazov, first week here, dominated. Um, he had an 18 point game. Again, really taking the rookies by storm. I've also been impressed with Tyler Pugh. It's his first week. Uh, great dribbler, great passer, uh, puts up some points, really does it all. Can't talk about Jetty also. Can you call up the Boston Celtics? My team put up a great performance, some good steals, some good dribbling. Look yeah. out for him on the All Stars coming up. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, next topic free agent impact. So we had a lot of free agents this week. Who do you think will have the biggest impact for their team and also the least amount of impact? I want to say Bradley Frank, number one, only because he has three weeks here, three rings. The kid just gets championships. He's, he's going to have 10 soon. Look at it. Full, full bling, full bling. <laughs> Look, I love Bradley. Great kid. Hilarious. Not much of an athlete. I mean, somehow he does win, but I think it's more because of the players around him as opposed to him. Um, really, I think Liam DeChiro coming in, great point guard, uh, great ball handler, puts up the points, is really going to uh, boost his team. I also think um, Zach Ifra, great ball player, um, even though he only has one hand, <laughs> um, I think he's going to make an impact, he's going to grab boards, uh, he's going to get it done. Yeah, I also mentioned Myers going to, I believe, the Bulls, he will be an impact, Coach Feldy will be hurting. Absolutely, and uh, Coach Talbi needs all the help he can get, yeah. I know that. Next up, we got top sleeper pick of the week. Evan, what do you got here? I have a few. Um, I have to say, Ben Walensky was taken in the third round. Right now, he's looking like an MVP candidate. I mean, his first two out of his first three games, he had 20 points. I think he had like 70 points after day one. I mean, this kid was unreal. Um, I got a chance to see him play with the Huskies, but he's taking this game to another level. Um, ben Walensky is number one. I think number two, I had um, William Easterbrook. This Ooh. kid, unbelievable. He got called up by the All Stars, only five years old, dropped four big points with the All Stars. I mean, this kid is just a natural athlete. Nothing else, nothing much else to say about that. I mean, pretty I also, impressive. Well, I have someone else in my mind right now. Christophe. Uh, kid yeah. is a monster. Some say Francois is better. Uh uh. Christophe picks up the boards. Christophe has a smooth shooting motion. Francois, good runner, not a great scorer. Also, quick shout out, Ben Lassard. Um, really been surprised by his performance. Taken a bit lower down the draft. He's drained a couple threes, some big time rebounds, steals, assists. He's really like the Steve Nash of his team. Impressive stuff. All right, it's time for our next segment. Mail time. It's time for mail time. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh. This is from Sandra from Dollar des Ormeaux, Quebec. And she writes, Hey guys, my son Greg is out of control. I'm thinking of leaving town for good and leaving Greg behind. I need your help. Well, again, we appreciate you reaching out to us. I don't know if this is the right show to talk about this kind of issue. Um, but knowing Greg, honestly, go ahead, don't look back. Leave him, I think you're better off. What do you think, Coach Nam? I think it's more of a Dr. Phil type of thing, but PTI has been known to indulge in some serious topics, and I have to go with Coach Evan on this one. Leave, don't come back. Yeah. Leave him. It's not worth it. No, leave him. He's not worth it. No. no. I, I don't want him. I don't want him either. We're good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> next, next one. <laughs> next topic, we got one more mail time. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this letter is from Jesus from the Dominican. Again, we're really, we're really expanding our like, horizons here. Dominican kind of public, impressive. Right? Yeah, I love it. All right, so Jesus writes, I don't understand why Coach Dan is allowed to coach at Sport Life. He never wins and is having trouble motivating his players. Kamish, what are you thinking? So, I mean, I guess I, guess I kind of have to answer. I mean, look, I, I interviewed Coach Dan, I'll be honest, seemed like a great guy. 
he was all this, all this talk about him being a great hockey coach. I didn't see it in Ball Hockey Week. Honestly, this week, I mean, he has a pretty decent team. I don't think he's doing much with it. I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, listen, Coach Dan, big talk, AAA Arsenal hockey coach. Didn't show it last week, that's for sure. Yeah. Now we're up, big basketball week. He may pull through only because of the luck of the draw with the free agent frenzy, but we, if I know Dan like I know Dan, he's losing first round of the playoffs and maybe even kicked out of the camp. It's up to you. Right. It's up to you. I don't know if I'll go that far. We'll, we'll take it week by week, but I mean, Dan, pick up your game. This is, this is embarrassing. You're letting your team down. All right, it's now time for our next segment called Over Under. So, Coach Knopp, Over Under, 2.5. 20 point games for Ben Walensky. Ooh, I'm pretty sure once he already has two 20 point games, yes. this is an easy one. I'm going with over. I'm even gonna be bold enough to give a solid five games. Wow. I know, I know it's tough, I know playoffs coming up, but he needs to score some points. I'm gonna have to disagree with you. Look, Ben, yes, he already has two, but I think that's as a result of Dan Levisky passing the ball. Um, Levisky now is trying to get more points. I think he really needs his assist to get another 20 point game. Sure. I don't know if Wolinski can do it on his own. Wally, love you kid, but I just don't think you have what it takes. All right, next over under, argued calls for King, 10. This is for next game, not overall. Yeah, yeah. 10 argued calls in the next game for Tyler King. What do you think? Crazy thing, I was at the gym halfway across. I hear Tyler King in the arena arguing. It doesn't make sense. The laws of physics, the laws of sound did not apply to this. I hear King. I hear him all the time. I have to say, I'm going to be 10 on the nose. 10 are your calls. Angie, it's going to be tough for you repping yeah. that game. Yeah, I'm going to double it. I think 20 easily. I think he's already averaging 20 argued calls per game, so I think 20 is a safe bet. Uh, look, Mr. Money in the Bank, great player, but he's got to keep his attitude in check. You, you could know, have said so. any number, I would have just agreed. <laughs> and anything over 10, I'm saying, yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And our last over under, one postseason W for Coach Feldy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this all depends on if he wears his shooting sleeve and if he wears the long pants under him. If he has those on, I'm gonna go with over. If not, the kids are not rallying behind him and he is not getting one postseason win. Yeah, I think a lot will depend on matchups. I mean, look, knowing Coach Feldy, we know he doesn't have the best track record. Nope. Um, playoffs especially, I think he just gets nervous and his players kind of feed off of that and he just doesn't feel comfortable. Um, I'm going to have to go with under. I really don't think he's going to win. I mean, even though he's going to be in first place at this point, I just think he's going to choke in the playoffs as Feldy does. Always, so, every week. It's, uh, anyways. Quick shout out, by the way, yeah. to our three-point leaders, we have Jason Moyer with sick, with six, sorry, not sick. And we also have- He is sick though. He, he is sick, he's nasty. Like sick in the head. Yeah, yeah, sick ill, physically ill. Physically <laughs> and mentally ill. Yeah, yeah, both yes, of us. Yes. And we also have, don't forget, D-Dog, not J-Dog, D-Dog with seven. And Ben Zakuri with zero. Ben Zakuri, please stop taking those shots. You're not nailing one three. <laughs> Quick shout out also before we go to our sponsors, Welch's, providing great snaps for campers everywhere. Every, every day, every day. Please and love it. Uh, Lay's, really on the nose with those chips. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I think that pretty much wraps yeah. it up for us at PTI today. Um, we hope you enjoyed the show. Until we'll next week. Until next week.